You don't want to do it? No? Okay. Wait, you want to drive? I think he's ready to drive. I think you're ready to drive, bud. Nope. No? Alright. He doesn't like the F40. You don't want to drive it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back. As you can see, we do have the LEGO F40, and uh, we're going to have a little fun with it today. Maybe do the race that it's for, and uh, try and get this thing sideways, because I don't know if it's called the a drifting or if it's like brick sliding, but uh, it's going to happen. We're going to have a little fun with it. We do have the NRG logo and the Evil Rabbit logo on it, because I had to. So we're going to have fun with this little F40 here, and uh, we're just going to get hop right into it and have some fun with the F40. Lego version. We do have the Fanatec set up full 900 degrees. Handbrake and everything. Sounds good. Got a bit of a slow pickup. But, uh. It looks amazing. Too bad we don't have, like, little brick fire coming out of the back of the car. Because that would have been sweet. But. It do, 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 do. Have the Lego F40 here, and uh, you have arrived at your destination. It is a drift, a bull cars because it's rear wheel drive, so we're gonna definitely gonna be doing that. But it the attention to detail with this car is insane. I almost died. It handles very well, actually. I'm quite surprised with how it's handling right now. And you know we're going to try and uh, drift this thing stock first. Oh my. So, angle of the LEGO F40 is not that great. But, we're going to modify suspension settings and do some uh, tweaking with it to try and get it to uh, slide a little bit better than it is now. So now we got to find the F40 race. And, uh, I know it's here somewhere. I saw it. Where did it go? There it is. I go F40 Championship. So, I'm gonna go. what's the first thing you need to add to your Lego house? Uh, uh, hello. Horizon here. A garage, of course. Better get to work on those challenges. We, we do need a garage. Or gar garage. Or however, however she announced it. We are going to go and uh, race this F40 and, uh, you know, see what we can do with it in this LEGO Championship. And then, of course, like I said, we're going to modify the suspension if we can. Well, I know we can modify this tuning, but see if we can put some different suspension on. Maybe rally suspension. That car just got punted. And then I froze my game. Uh, don't punt like, don't punt other cars. The game, like, kind of freezes out. So we're gonna start this solo Lego Ferrari. So cool thing is, if you see my Instagram, I did pick up the Lego F40 as well. And the really cool thing about it is the options in the game change the options in the actual Lego F40. So it's cool to have that here. We're just gonna put that right there. So we are going to go rip this F40 here in this championship. We've got some lights behind our Legos. That's sweet. Have a sip of our coffee first, right. though. That's one of the most famous and ferocious Ferraris ever built. And you're in a big Lego set. But I'll tell you what. If you beat it, you can keep it. How's that for motivation? Okay. So it looks like it's a little one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, we got Fern coming out. Dump the clutch. You know, our... Uh, Lego transmission. We got the uh, real F40 in front of us. Brakes on this thing are really good. Oh, don't lose it. My Lego tires are uh, losing a little traction there. It is just incredible the attention to detail that they did with this car and this world, for sure. 
see, you know, building that Lego set and then uh, seeing it in the game, it's almost identical, which is insane. Sounds, sounds amazing as well. Oh, a little over rev there. That would have definitely caused some serious damage in our F40. Keeping pace with the actual F40, but we're going to need to uh, pick up a little bit of a pace. Use his draft. That's, there we go. That was what I needed to do. A little bit of brakes, a little bit of uh, controlled speed. And we are on point. This car handles really well. I feel like uh, the Lego version is so much faster than the real version, but he's right on me. We only have five gears in that 40. Oh, force feedback is very strong. So if you guys are still enjoying the LEGO expansion, let me know down in the comments. I'm a little bit behind on this video because of my, oh, my wedding this weekend. So didn't get a chance to uh, do some recording because I was spending some time with my new wife. So we are here today. Oh my, oh my, no, you, nobody saw that. Nobody saw the grass or us lose it. That didn't happen. <clears throat> Can't, I forgot I still had rewinds on, but uh, nobody saw that, right? So we're good. This car doesn't like grass too well, so we're going to have to stay out of that. Just easing the throttle. Really? No. You jerk. Ah, oh, get wrecked. He beat me by... He didn't beat me. We had the same time. Are you serious? I mean, I knew these speed champions were a nifty bit of Lego building, but I never thought you... Hey, you go ahead and keep the real Ferrari. You Wait. Did I win? But it says I finished second. But we were at the same time, but... I'm so confused. Did we complete the, complete the challenge? Forza, what happened? Did we actually complete it? I'm confused. We did not, even though it told us we did. So we'll have to complete that. But before we do that, we are gonna head to the garage. We're gonna modify this Ferrari and uh, see what we can do for modification aspects of this car and see if we can't get it to go sideways because well, I did first drift on it, and it wasn't in a Lego car, so now we're going to do it in a Lego car if we can. Senna is the next thing I want so bad, and we're working towards that. So we're going to go to the garage, see what types of mods we can do to this Ferrari. So from what I know, we are able to take the lower splitter off like you can on the Lego model, which is actually very cool as well as modify the wing color and everything like that, like you do in the Lego set. But we're not worried about that stuff. We are worried about, put a transmission in, but I think we'll leave it. So we can put rally suspension in. So that might help, we're gonna have to drop it down, but that may help with um, the angle that I'm trying to get out of the car. 690, we'll leave it at 690 for right now. We're just gonna modify the suspension and then we will tune the suspension up and see if we can't get this thing to drift. A little bit better than it was because it was drifting but it just didn't have steering lock so hopefully the rally suspension gives us a little more lock like it does in Forza uh, Horizon 3 when we put it on there and it gave us a lot so we're gonna change the settings of this I'm gonna modify tire pressure a little bit and we're gonna go with a lot of camber in the front throw in some out toe change the caster and then we're going to leave all that and then we are going to have to drop it back down as far as we can to get this thing as low as possible. We'll leave everything else the same for right now, but we are going to lock, well, somewhat lock this diff. And we're going to give this a shot and see how this goes. And see if we can get this thing sideways because that would be so much fun to get this car sideways. So let's go and see what we can do. So 
It didn't work on a clutch kick, but we're gonna... I think we need to change gearing around. Or drift in first gear. So... Probably should have modified the suspension on this. Oh! To get it to work right, because we are all over the place with this. Because of the low, uh... Low bogging... Gears. There we go, a little clutch kick. Oh. So it is drifting a lot better with those tweaks. I don't know if it'll uh, drift perfectly how I want, so let us take it up into. You know where we're going. We are going to go inside the Lego racetrack and try and get some slides there and see if we can get the slide in first gear because gearing is a little bit a little bit tweaky all right so that's better we need to do second gear we may have to put a trans in this thing to get this thing to really drift how I really want it to but we will see what we can do in second with a lot of basically e-brake and clutch dumps. That's better. Could be a lot worse. So if you guys have the F40, did you build it into a drift car? Did you build it into a race car? Obviously a lot of people are using it for racing. I feel like I may rear wheel drive swap that mini. That was better. Oh, don't die. Rear wheel drive swap that mini. Maybe get that thing sliding, or dump a lot of uh, power into it and just do some all-wheel drive slides with it. Oh my! Well, we are getting it with the F40 though. A little bit better than I thought we would. So different. Not having angle kits and a very weird clutch uh, transmission feel. So we're going to go do a little first person, see if maybe that'll help. Whoa. See his little Lego hand up there. So like I said, just a little video here for you guys with the F40. Just trying to slide around, have a little fun with it for today. More videos coming out this week, Torque Drift, as well as more of the LEGO expansion. So as always, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys on the next one. We lost it.